Thank you for staying with us. It's still the breakfast on uh, Plus TV Africa, and uh, we're going to take our next hot topic in the short time that we have. NLC TUC issue 14 day ultimatum to federal government over non implementation of agreements. You remember that also this morning we saw the headlines that uh, both the NLC and TUC and the federal government <coughs> differ on. Uh, non-implementation of the agreements. But we have here to discuss this with us, Comrade Ismail Dejumo, Chairman Ratawu Lagos and PRO NLC Lagos. Good morning and welcome to the program, Comrade. Good morning for having me. This It's my pleasure to be here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you for joining us. Oh, okay, so what's the update right now? All we know is that the NLC TUC has said that after 14 days there may be a strike. What's the current development? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I was on uh, a station, I think, uh, two weeks ago, where we discussed about this um, delay in the inauguration of the tripartite committee uh, that we lead to the negotiation for the new minimum wage. But we call it a new um, living wage, not minimum wage anymore, because uh, the situation is uh, getting out of hand. But be that as it may, uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress leadership and the uh, Trade Union Congress leadership, TUC, have been very, very patriotic and have been working closely in line with the government in order to ensure that there is no crisis whatsoever that can, uh, you know, skyrocket uh, across the nation as a result of this uh, current economic action, uh, you know, arising from the subsidy remover and other uh, neoliberal economic policy of this current government. But uh, as, as you can uh, also read from the news yesterday, the leadership met after careful consideration of all the agreements initially signed with the government. Uh, we realized that those agreements have not been fulfilled. And uh, that of the tripartite committee has been settled. They have been inaugurated. They have commenced work at least that one aside. But the initial agreement that has to do with the wage award that was signed to cushion the effect of the subsidy remover that has not been addressed by the government in a manner that will repose confidence in the leadership in fact as i speak majority of uh, workers in some sectors have not even earned their salary for the month of january and it's becoming uh, you know a, an issue that uh, the leadership have to you know sweep into action and uh, the only instrument that i told you earlier on that we deploy when it should get to this level is to issue an ultimatum. We can't just enter this. We felt we felt the pulse of the people in, in the in the community where every one of us reside. In the society at large, things are not getting uh, easy at all. The the inflation rate is 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 at a completely eroded whatever anybody is earning at this moment. So we want government to be more proactive and to be genuine and uh, sincere in delivering on all these uh, initial agreements. Most especially that has to do with uh, wage award, the issue of a uh, revinery, uh, and all other agreements that have been signed and all these things. We are more concerned to, to engage the government to ensure that all these things are delivered timely. Mm. That is the essence of this uh, ultimatum to, to let government be more you know, active and deliver timely with all these uh, promises. Okay, we know so the, the, the revenue are doodling as according to them, but uh, we want them to be more committed to the plight of Nigerian workers and masses. Okay, so here is my concern. Um, over time, you hear NLC issue an ultimatum saying they are going to go on strike. And after a while, nothing is being done. So they don't go on strike. The federal government never, you know, puts in place all of the things that they said they will, so the agreements are not being met. And then it seems like it's a charade that happens t over and over again. So NLC will threaten, we're going on strike, we give you a 14-day ultimatum, we give you a 21-day ultimatum, whatever the case might be. But then nothing is being done. Don't you think the federal government sees through this charade, if, it may, if, if I can call it that? And they know that nothing is going to be done, so they still go ahead and not... Um, not implement all of the things that have been stated in the agreement? Uh, thank you very much uh, for that question. Uh, we in the labor movement, we are bound by rules and regulation. Uh, we are not just uh, like civil society organization that can just enter streets or, or start protests at a short notice. 
So we have to explore all the, you know, the framework set out in our constitution before we embark on any protest or uh, industrial action. So we have uh, been very careful not to aggravate the, the, the very tense uh, atmosphere in the country. But uh, with the situation of things at the moment, the leadership felt uh, the government need to do more. And that is why this uh, uh, ultimatum was issued. Uh, previously, uh, we know government have not been, you know, uh, been very, very sincere with the labor movement in terms of, uh, a, you know, fulfilling agreement. And when we saw, anytime we observe this coming, we swing it to action and uh, we deploy the instrument we have, and which is to notify them that if you are not uh, relenting on all the agreement you have signed with us. So the masses are aware, we too we are aware, they too, they are very much aware. So it's now left for the masses and the government to know that uh, they have not been really doing well with the labor leadership. So we implore them to, to be more sincere and fulfill agreement because they are the ones that should set the pace for us. If we violate the rules, immediately you see them, they go to court to get an injunction to restrain us from going on strike. And everybody is a living witness. So it's not that they, uh, we enjoy going on strike, but we always want government to do the needful at the right time. So strike is the last option that is available for us to down to. We have a series of instruments we use, but uh, at the moment, the government, the federal and the state, to domesticate and implement the agreement reached with the labor leadership vis-a-vis -vis this issue of subsidy removal, palliatives, and all other uh, matters signed. Have been issued. So that is our position. We are not uh, uh, anti-government, and we are not uh, uh, antagonists, so to say. We are pressure groups. Labor movement is a pressure group. So we, we, we implore the government to do the needful timely so that uh, Nigeria can smile because the situation at the moment is not palatable at all. Okay, uh, you just confirmed that the Trapatite Committee has just been se uh, set up and you applaud the government for that. What if the terms of reference also included uh, how to make sure that uh, this um, wage award is paid as well? Are you doubly sure that they don't have this as part of their, uh, their terms of reference so that uh, you can give them more time than the 14 days that you have given to the federal government? No, the issue of which I already settled, what we heard from the Honorable Minister of Labor was that uh, there are a lot of uh, maybe shortfall in the budget for the last year. And I believe they have made necessary budgetary uh, allocation to augment all the uh, payments across the sector. Out of the, since September, they pay September and October for the wage award, that of uh, uh, October, November, uh, December, with this January ends, it will be about four months areas. This uh, February, so it is a matter that has been settled. They are, they, they just have to clear the backlog, no matter what. So why are you so going on strike for a matter that has been settled? <laughs> it has been settled, but when there are challenges in paying, in fulfilling it, and it is discussed and it is in the public space uh, domain. So we will be very, very, uh, at least open with them. Let everybody justify why they cannot pay that wage award within the stipulated time before we now go into the issue of minimum wage. The issue of minimum wage is a matter, it's a constitutional matter. I told you the earlier on that uh, it is by April the minimum wage currently will lapse. And that is why the government quickly inaugurated that committee a uh, few weeks back to commence uh, the process of negotiation so that they will come with an, agree, uh, an agreement to what is the actual uh, amount that will be the, the, the benchmark for minimum wage in Nigeria. And the respective state can now go and domesticate because the governors also have their representative in the committee. The private sector have their representative there. It is a robust committee. So yeah, let, let them work uh, seriously and come up with a, a, a living wage for us, not minimum wage. So uh, what, uh, what, what are your demands? What are your demands? In case we get to the 14 days that you have given the federal government and they say, okay, we can only pay one month and keep paying little by little until we clear the backlog. It, it, will you accept that? Or you are thinking that after the 14 days, the four months that you're being owed must be paid, otherwise you're going on strike. What are some of the things that government can do and then you still give them some more time? 
uh, we open for negotiation, discussion, dialogue. That is the, the, the mechanism in industrial relation. So if they call the leadership and put all parameters and uh, indices on the table that, okay, these are the challenges we are facing at the moment. We are committed to paying this, um, this money, but we are having some budgetary shortfalls or other challenges. So give us more time, then we will we, 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 we give them the benefit of doubt. But if they, everybody we know that they are the one that is defaulting from doing the needful, we are open to that. We are not going to be dogmatic and say, okay, we are not going to agree with them. Uh, the, the economy, we are all partners in building this economy. We create the wealth of this nation as, as, they are, as the workers. We are the ones that create the wealth. So we are also entitled to the part of these uh, 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 national resources. Because some of them are any fabulously. The National Assembly can see their budget allocation. Eh? The, the percentage in the increment. The, also for the executive and judiciary. So why are we, the, the, the public servants, uh, in, the, uh, the, in, the, in, the, in the, the government and the private sector, we now be, uh, bearing the brunt of uh, 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 patient. We should be patient. Patient for how long? Not so many people have died in this cause of this struggle. But uh, we implore okay. the government and believe in our president. He's okay. back now fully. And he has been giving a lot of matching order to all the political sector that are concerned. Uh, we want to give him that uh, benefit of that. that uh, before now and the ending of this month, he should be able to clear this backlog of uh, uh, wage award. And then we'll be focused and be looking uh, very, very hopeful into the new living wage that is coming on stream, hopefully okay. uh, by God's grace, uh, in April. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Comrade Ismail Adejimo, for coming on the program. We hope that uh, the government will do the needful. Uh, we don't want another strike. We have never wanted a strike. No. We, we, we want a situation where the workers will always be satisfied and our country will move on uh, the way it should. Mm -hmm. But good luck mm -hmm. to you. Uh, we, are, we are rooting for you. Uh, that's what Thank we you very say. much. Thanks. Thank you very much. We are partner in progress. Yes. And we'll continue to be a partner in progress. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bless you. God bless uh, TV Plus. All right. I'm happy you. for your TV said this morning. Plus thank TV, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Plus TV, plus yes. TV, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Okay. We've yeah. been talking to Comrade Ismail Adejimo, Chairman Ratau Lagos and PRO NLC Lagos State. Uh, we're hoping that when the 14 days come, we will not uh, experience a strike action from NLC and TUC. We're hoping that the lives of Nigerians will be better, not just uh, the members of NLC or TUC. And in the coming days, God help us. This God is where we'll us. draw the curtain <laughs> on today's, broad, on today's um, uh, program. And we hope that uh, you're going to join us again on Monday. Yeah. Until then, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Happy weekend. My name is Rome Paulson. Have a good weekend. <laughs>